What is ECT? ECT refers to um, electroconvulsive therapy. It is a uh, treatment which was originally mostly used for depression, um, although it has a couple other indications. It is interesting in that um, it's uh, the treatment that is actually the most effective treatment for depression. It's also the most effective treatment for bipolar disorder, particularly when someone's really agitated, manic. Um, and it's uh, most effective for things like um, really severe schizophrenia when somebody's catatonic. But um, ECT stands for electroconvulsive treatment. Okay. Explain the procedure. What the procedure consists of is, uh, and this is typically done in a post-anesthesia care unit, a um, person is uh, brought in, they're given an ultra-short-acting um, medication for anesthesia, and so they're asleep, and then they're given another medication, um, which is a muscle relaxant, and then um, an electrical stimulus is applied to the brain. There's a couple of different ways that's done. And, but the point of it is to um, cause within the brain a generalized seizure that lasts at least 15 seconds. What can patients expect before, during, and after the procedure? Before the procedure, it's pretty much like any kind of outpatient uh, procedure you might get. You come in, you check in, you know, you get in the gown and they take you in the gurney and all of that stuff, just like anything else you might have done, a colonoscopy or um, you know, any kind of procedure that they do in a hospital. Um, the treatment room is a room off the post-anesthesia care unit, which is typical for most facilities. Um, and then they give you the medication, the ultra-short-acting uh, barbiturate medication. You go to sleep. Um, you're awake typically about four minutes later. Um, and you stay in the um, post-anesthesia care unit until you're ready to go home or back up to the hospital floor. You've been conducting ECT for more than 15 years. How has that technology changed over those years? ECT historically, um, the big thing was when they started using an anesthesia, muscle relaxants, and all of that. And that, that happened at the end of the 60s. That was a long time ago. Um, the big thing that's happened in recent years is the um, development of what they call ultra-brief stimulus ECT. What that is is um, the uh, frequency at which the pulse comes was um, reduced to a really short amount, but what it does is it matches how a neuron in the brain repolarizes. By doing it this way, um, you get less confusion um, and memory effects after the treatment. Really, that's been just the one side effect that um, you see with ECT is, um, you know, um, loss of memory for the time immediately before the treatment, typically. You've seen some very positive results from ECT. Explain a few of those. Your most typical ECT patient is going to be somebody who's had years and years of really severe depression to where family members would say, I haven't seen them happy for a week in 20 years. And they get to the point where they've been on, you know, five, ten different antidepressants from all the different classes that are out there. And that person eventually gets referred for ECT. Typically, by the third treatment, and I, I should say, when these people come in for the treatment, you know, the surgical staff, this is the first time they've met them. And this is a person that's just so depressed, there's like this black cloud that moves around the room with them. I mean, they're so psychomotor retarded and their affect is so blunted, it really strikes you. I mean, you're like, wow, this person is really depressed. Typically, third treatment, fourth treatment, I come in, they're laughing and joking with the nurse. And this is somebody who, for you know, 20 years, their depression never really got better. And that's a typical case. Generally, um, people are referred either by psychiatrist or by their family uh, practice or internal medicine physician to me. And um, I'll do an evaluation, make sure they're appropriate for ECT and that that's the logical next step. And then we get you them know, scheduled for treatment.